And Playhouse Square was also one of the places severely impacted by the pandemic. A year ago this week, they announced they were canceling their shows. You know, it's funny. On, in some ways, that seems like it was a month ago. And <laughs> in other ways, it feels like that was three years ago. However, now there appears to be a light at the end of this tunnel. And I know so many folks have been waiting for this. Will Uick has the inside scoop on what it'll take for the theater to get live acts back on stage here in Cleveland. We just made the grand announcement on another exciting lineup at Playhouse Square. One year ago today, Playhouse Square announced the new lineup of shows coming to over 48,000 season ticket holders, the largest base in North America. Of course, the excitement was short-lived. Ten days later, we were out of business. During the year of being dark, they've kept themselves busy, opening an apartment building, continuing to manage properties, and boosting their education program, which now reaches over 80,000 students. And now they're busy trying to figure out how to open the curtains once again. It is very complex to sort of knit this all back together. Gina says Cleveland is just one thread in that equation. And no matter what the rules and situation is in Ohio, it'll take a country to get the tours going again. It is a network of cities that need to be open in order for any tour to say that they're going to be able to go out. And, you know, we need to be able to be at capacity. More complications come up when you factor in each show that was already booked and the issue of scheduling. There was the season we were in. And then there was the season we thought we would be having right in this moment. And then there actually was next season. And so it is going to be taking, you know, those seasons and how you sort of like mix that together. Gina says most shows and performances are concentrating on outdoor venues for the summer. So they're targeting fall for the long awaited lights, curtain, action. It will be sort of like a parade, how you keep putting the parade together as you go along the parade route. Those first shows, I will tell you, will be highly emotional. Now, things can always change depending on the situation here with the pandemic. Gina also mentioned there are some residence theater companies in Cleveland. There's a possibility about doing something with them a little earlier, but she made the joke, Betsy, at this is why pencils have erasers. You put it in there and then you just pivot and, and go somewhere else with your plan as things change along the way. Well, we know the theaters are going to be ready, certainly, but the traveling yeah. shows, I mean, are they ready just to hit the road again? Yeah, it's an interesting question, Betsy, because, you know, you take something like Hamilton or The Lion King, one of these bigger shows, the sets are built, they're, they've toured before, they would be ready to go pretty quickly. But then you take another show that maybe was launching a tour for the first time, they still need to build sets, they need to do casting, things that they're not been able to do during the pandemic. It could take three, maybe up to five months before they're ready to hit the road. Oh, I just can't wait. I got chills when when Jean said about the, you know, the first few shows are going to be so highly emotional. They definitely will. Oh, yeah. Everybody's going to be just so excited about that. And I know you'll be there front and center for it, too. Thanks so much. Will. You know it. Appreciate it.